Hi guys, it's Courtney and Oster. And we are at the Frankenmuth Dog Bowl waiting for the police canine show. And I'm walking around and just enjoying the nice weather. I am so excited to be here. I come every year and this year is the second year we brought Oster with us. So that's so exciting. I hope to take her every year because she just loves it so much. Don't you? She's down here on the bleacher. I don't know if you can see her. So, but we just watched the doggy fun run, and I know she could have won if I would have known about it and I would have entered. Um, but, yeah. Updates to come. And when he approaches that odor and smells it, we tell him to sit. And that starts the association between the odor and the response. So in one of these cans, we have, we have some contraband. We'll leave it at that. We, we have some contraband and um, John and Mitch are going to find, and you'll notice, you'll see when he finds it, what is it? A lot of times, a lot of times, what happens is, is that because of the way the wind's blowing, we always work our dogs in both directions at all times. There you go. We work the dog in, in both directions at all times because at some point in time, especially outside, they can be working the dog away with the wind blowing this way and the odor is actually being pushed away from the dog. The minute we turn the dog around and start working him the other way, the odor is being pushed into his face. So we always do a reverse search pattern when we search. I need a volunteer. Who wants a volunteer? Right there. There you go, Doug. Somebody small, so you don't hurt yourself lifting them over the fence. <laughs> don't hurt yourself, Doug. All right. So, what's your name, man? Aiden. Aiden. <coughs> Excuse me. Aiden's going to switch the cans around for us. <clears throat> so there's no hint of impropriety here. Pretty good. All right, come on, John. Nobody tell the dog. Nobody tell John either. Mitch is still recovering from having to put that vest on. These are all young dogs, by the way. Both Mitch and Segan are less than two years old. <clears throat> so they should have a lot of service time. And there we go. As you can see how much easier it is when a dog's working into the wind as opposed to when he's working away from it. It makes it a lot easier. All right, you got to switch it one more time, Aiden. What I tell people is that during the course of the routine investigation, the officer may suspect that there may be something not right going on uh, and decides to search the outside of the vehicle with his dog. Yes, the dog can smell the odor of the narcotics from outside, even though it's inside. Their olfactory function is close to one million times better than a human being's if you can put a perception on that. See how the wind is sort of messing with him a little bit? He's got odor, everybody can see it. There it is. At this time, the investigation would continue. We would be asking some pertinent questions as to why you have controlled substance. We're going to now proceed in a second. Go on a little further, Greg. That's good. 
He's going to send him, and when he's ready, he's going to call the Jeff. And now just to show you that he would have bit him. Go ahead, Jeff. That might hurt. So. The consequences are a little different. And that's what we're going to show you. Go ahead, Jimmy. years in Detroit thank God that we prepared our dogs for what for this we prepare them for this with muzzle attack we make the dog wear a muzzle because if he wasn't wearing one you watch what he'd be doing to him watch him pound him with the end of that muzzle if we took that muzzle off guess what he would be doing he would be biting him so we're gonna send him we're gonna send him on Greg Greg's gonna try to get away he's gonna fight the dog he's gonna try to get away from the dog and you'll see what happens, okay? Go ahead, Jeff. Oh yeah, he would, he would, he would. Okay, call him up, Jeff. For me, for me, that's the best part of dog work. Pulling this car has no idea what windshield wipers are. <laughs> We're oh, he got it started though. Because of uh, because of new pursuit pursuit laws initiated by most police agencies, this thing isn't going to go over like 20 miles an hour. <laughs> In fact, in the real world, we'd probably be calling it off about right now. <laughs> so they're going to roll up here. Then obviously the smart thing would be for... But he's not going to do that. So let's take off. She just ran towards her dad. It was awesome. There she goes. All right. Next up is our weave challenge. Now we line our. 